I'm gonna be making Mississippi pot roast. I've seen this recipe everywhere. My friend made it and it's so easy. So we're gonna make it together. My name's Heather and I'm married to Luke. I have two beautiful daughters and six handsome sons. And this is just the Bell's 10. All right, let's get started. Let's get it started. So I'm gonna add a couple different things. The recipe just calls for the pepperoncinos, pepperoncinos, I think that's what they call it, pepperoncinos, butter, the roast, some people I see do an onion, ranch dressing, a jus. So I'm gonna actually do brown gravy and a jus. I'm gonna add carrots, garlic, carrots, garlic, butter, onion, the ranch dressing, and because I have three beef roasts in here, I'm gonna be tripling the recipe. So I. Well, I'm gonna be doubling the recipe. So I have two of everything to put into my pot. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my onions and my carrots and throw them in the pot. So we're gonna do that first. carrots cut and put into the crock pot. Woo! Those onions are killing my eyes. I had to put the lid on it because my eyes are all watering. I'm going to clean up, clean up my mess and then we're going to start putting the rest of the ingredients into the crock pot and get it cooking because it has to cook for about four, about four hours. So let me clean up my area and we'll get back to the recipe. I added, um, so I just kind of moved the carrots and the onions over. Um, and I have three roasts in there because we have such a big family. So I'm going to add garlic, two tablespoons of garlic. There we go. And now I'm going to add one jar of the pepperoncinis. You want the juice too. It calls for like a cup of juice, but because I'm doing two roasts, we're going to do the whole jar. All right, let's get these out of here. There we go. Let's move these over. And I'm not a hot pepper person, so I'm really surprised that I like these. I'm just gonna move them over just to make room for the spices. As it cooks down, all the meat will cook down and it won't be so, uh, so uh, you know, full. Let's just put a couple more down there. There we go. And now we're gonna do the ranch dressing. It just calls for one packet, but because I'm doing Two rows, we're gonna do more than that. Just gonna sprinkle that over that. And it'll get down in the sides, I'm not worried about it. It'll all cook together. So let's get this ranch dressing going here. A lot of people use um, Lipton onion soup mix. If you wanna do that, go ahead, you can do that. And now it calls for a Jew. So I'm gonna use two packets of that too. Make sure it kind of goes in the side too. There we go. All right, I'm having a, there we go. And then I'm gonna add um, brown gravy. Two packets of that. And you might feel like, wow, that's a lot of seasoning, but trust me, down underneath, it's all gonna get there. All right. And I got the carrots. I'm gonna serve it with mashed potatoes. There we go. And last, we're gonna add the butter. Two sticks of butter. I'm gonna serve mashed potatoes with this. It's gonna be great. You can also serve it over rice if you want. I mean, it's kind of up to you, I guess, what you want to do. And don't worry, we're still doing the tater tot casserole for our cooking 101. All right, so we got that going. Now you're just gonna put a lid on it. I'm not gonna seal mine because everybody keeps telling me, do not seal your crock pots, do not seal your crock pots. 
because you don't want it to explode or whatever. So we got that going. Now we're gonna set the heat and we're gonna watch it Now cook. I'm gonna set the crock pot. I'm not gonna seal these like I said because people keep saying don't do that. So I plugged it in. You know, this is a really nice crock pot. It's like a 10 quart, but this cord, it's like so little, you need like an extension cord. So um, I just flipped it to high. You can do it low for 46 hours, but for not 46, four to six hours. But I'm gonna do it on high, hopefully in about four hours because I should have put it on two hours ago. I just have been struggling kind of today with not feeling too good. So I put it on high for four hours. We'll come back and check it. I'm actually gonna put, I think I'm gonna put a towel over it to kind of seal because I, because I don't have it sealed. Um, just like when you do like, uh, you do your turkey in a Nesco, you wanna always put a towel over it so the steam that comes up will go back into the meat and cook it. So we're gonna get cooking this and I'll check back in with you here soon. Give it a couple hours, start stirring it up. And All right, see so it it's been like. a couple hours. Let's take a look and see. All right, that's looking nice. It's not falling apart yet. So we still gonna cook it a little bit more, but it looks a lot better. Well, a lot different, right? So it looks good. I'm anxious to get it going. Isabella, she, hi Willow. Isabella's making my mashed potatoes to put this over. Some people can put it into hamburger buns and do like a pulled beef thing and some people can put over mashed potatoes. So I'm just gonna keep this cooking because it's not All ready. right, so the meal is done. My husband's gonna plate it and show you how it went. So Isabella made mashed potatoes and look how good that I'm looks. I'm so excited. <laughs> is this real beef? Yes, it's real beef. Oh, what good. Does that mean? Look how good that turned out. Yummy. Oh, I can't wait. So he's gonna put it over his mashed potatoes and try just, it out and then let you know what that's he just thinks. A, I just love the big chunks. Look at that. You're putting, just take off a piece. What are you to doing? try out your meat dish, hon. Mississippi pot roast. You want it right on top? Whatever you want to eat. Oh, let's do that. Okay. I need a little garnishment. Yeah, there you go. Do you need a, a little scooper or? Well, how long do you want your video? A little scooper be fast. Look at that. It's okay, honey. All right, now try it. Really? Yeah, you get try, to try it. it. Yeah, right here's a fork. Try them and let them know what you think. Okay. Well, I have everything done. Very tender feeling. <laughs> Put some mash on, on there. it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. How is it? Mm. Good. Who is that, Brendan? That's good. That's is my that son good? Brendan. Okay, Brendan, you coming to try my Mississippi pot roast? Okay. All right. All right. So the recipe turned out great. My husband tried it. It was super easy. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like our page, Just the Bells 10, and follow us on our everyday living. And thank you for your support. Until we meet again.